And so we want to ask the question, are the extreme elderly patients really potentially benefiting from this therapy? Um, so we looked at our, our patients at MD Anderson, we have a very large data set. So we specifically looked at patients that are 80 years and, and older. And to see actually how are they tolerating the use of chemo radiation, which is actually a fairly toxic regimen. You know, five weeks of daily radiation and chemotherapy. For, to our surprise, actually, they're doing fairly well. Uh, the toxicity is actually quite low and it's comparable to the younger population. We actually did a propensity match analysis to our younger cohort of patients, to the elderly patients, and we found that actually the, the outcomes and the benefit, uh, the disease control is very similar compared to the elderly to this uh, younger group. The only thing we saw was slightly in excess with some toxicities, particularly pneumonitis risk, was slightly higher in the, uh, old, the elderly patients. So that's something that we had to think about, you know, using this data going forward is that, well, maybe in the elderly patient we need to be a little conservative. Maybe the utilization of protons might, be, might help with that, potentially, that because of their higher risk of developing lung infections or lung complications, that we should, should try to think about the heart dose and lung dose that we deliver and potentially using some technology to try to spare the doses to these structures to minimize the uh, toxicities that's caused by this, uh, by this treatment. So I think that's what that, actually that, that data shows. And um, uh, that's an interest, of course, uh, as, as our society and you know, population ages, and of course the baby boomer population is aging, this becomes a relevant uh, question because there's survi a lot of our baby boomers are surviving longer, right? People are surviving, surviving longer, and technology to improve, we expect, of, her, of course, um, the treatments to be to improve and as well as improving uh, disease control for patients. So therefore, I think this becomes a relevant issue for the future, is that how do we manage uh, you know, these extremely elderly patients and whether our therapy benefit patients.